What's going on, YouTube? How's it going today? Thanks for coming. I just want to say real quick, Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. We're here. We're going to pump out some videos as much as we can. Uh, today, we're taking a look at this rig right here, the uh, SCX24 Power Wagon and Trailer. And uh, we're going to see how it performs. So stick around, guys. So, how's it going, guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. So, today, I wanted to showcase this light right here. This Shorty's Hobby World light. This was made by a really good friend of mine, uh, Enchanted Gully Designs. Um, he does have an Instagram. I'm going to put it down below. Because I think you guys will want to go check him out. I know he's going to be making these and uh, doing stuff. So, if you are interested in something like this... Hit them up down below. You can change colors on it. Do all kinds of stuff. It is neat. I love mine. It can be battery operated and also can be powered by a USB. Um, it comes with a little controller you see sitting on the front table. So if you like what you see and you're interested, hit my guy up. I'll put a link down below. I do know he's working on his YouTube channel as well. But for right now, we'll just throw his Instagram down below. All right, so we're going to hammer it down here on the truck and uh, see what this thing is all about. Right now, as you can see, this is the Axial 124th Power Wagon. It is a very good-looking truck. Uh, I do like the hard body on it. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Power Wagons lately, but I think this is just Axial throwing their uh, hand in there, too, on the whole Power Wagon bit. I really like the truck. I like the way it looks. So, hopefully it performs as well as it looks. I do know that it does have oil-filled shocks uh, underneath the chassis here, as you can see. So, I do like that, that they're getting away from the friction shocks. So, that's awesome. So, now we're going to get underneath the hood. The ESC is a 10-amp brush 2-in-1 ESC combo. Something, uh, their new ESC they came out with. Um, hopefully, it works out pretty good. But here is the battery. The battery is a 350 milliamp LiPo. So, not bad. That's kind of their, still their stock battery that they've always had. So, the radio is the SLT2 2.4 transmitter. Not bad. Feels decent in the hand. I don't mind it. It's a pretty nice little radio. This here is a bag of goodies. Um, it's the back cap, uh, your tools, your accessories, your uh, LiPo charger, which is a USB LiPo charger. You also get your AA batteries that are ready to go. I love how they throw those in. You also get an Axial sticker and then a sticker sheet for your rig. Also, you get this little light card. I love that they're doing these little card things. It has little scan codes of upgrades and the manual. I love it. And then here is the manual. I also want to throw in a note that it is still running the AS1 steering servo. So there's the inside of the manual. Just kind of giving you guys a little bird's eye view. And then this is just like a little uh, starter connector guide that they give you and throw in. I also just wanted to toss this in there too. I also got the trailer when they uh, put this out. So I went ahead and purchased the trailer too, which I really like. Pretty fancy little trailer. It does have a light kit. We're only going to show it. I'm not going to do much with it in this video. Um, does have the ramps. Really cool little thing. And it also comes with a uh, paper manual that came with it as well. And a little hitch with some screws to mount it up to whatever SCX24 you want to throw it in. Okay, guys. So, we're going to do some running here. Um, just to show you guys what this thing can do. Stock. Out of the box. Um, 
I also forgot to throw in there and let you guys know that this does come with Pro-Line wheels and tires. The tires are Super Swampers, so that's really cool. Um, they always did the glue-on runs before, so now we have beadlocks. So if you like the tires, we can actually use them on a different rim if you wanted to the upgrade. So I thought that was pretty cool. So here, uh, we're running in the mud pit. Um, just wanted to show how it kind of handled, handles in the in the BB style mud pit. Um, as you guys can see, also too, um, things have changed. Uh, why I haven't made a video in a while, I moved. Um, I'm in a new location now, a new place. We love it here. As you can see, I've done a back drop for Shorty Mountain. I love it. Right now, the truck is going down, uh, falling down tree in the mud pit. So, very excited. The truck handles the mud really well. So, that's cool. Alright. Adjust the camera here. Here we go. So, this is a uh, side mount. This is, can be a pretty difficult spot to uh, crawl on. I just kind of wanted to show this angle on how it would handle uh, stock. We are going to do upgrades to this truck, guys, and we're going to see the differences. These are certain spots I like to hit with stock trucks just to see how they handle. And then as we upgrade, we can come back and look at these and, and see maybe what angles would be different. And uh, all that good stuff. Gotta love the sound back feedback <laughs> of my cell phone there. Text notification. Moving some boulders out of the way so we can back up a little bit. So there's a specific line that runs real well on this track. On Shorty Mountain here, and I'm trying to get that line and trying to hit that line just right. And as you can tell, I'm not there. I just wanted to see if maybe we could bounce it up real quick, and uh, that definitely didn't happen. But as you can see right here, we nailed the line, and it does great. Just wanted to show the reaction of the servo, like we already know it is the AS1. So this right here is the hardest spot to crawl on on Shorty Mountain. As you can see, we're kind of a little top heavy at the moment. It's wanting to tip back. One good thing this truck does have is the long wheelbase, so it should be all right. But anyways, guys, as you can see, not bad. We definitely need to do some work to the truck. And try to uh, make it better. There she rolls. So yeah. That's the truck. Um, Asiel did a great job on the truck. I really like the truck. So... Stick around. We are going to do some upgrades to it. If you did like what you see, guys, please like, follow, subscribe. Uh, well, not follow, but, you know, like and subscribe, and uh, hope you guys come back. I do appreciate every one of you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for sticking around. We'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.